Hi friends, what a fantastic week it has been. Hope you did not make any losses in the last week. I did not do anything specific. Actually some work was happening in my home and I was also not very much feeling well. I had some sneezing nose. So I just managed to invest in some of the ELSS funds like Zerada, 250 Midcap, Navi Nifty 50 index funds. So this volatility has taught me an important lesson. Do not keep all your investments in the same basket. When you checked, the market was falling, the FMCG sectors was rising. I was able to keep everything balanced and hope you are also keeping your portfolio very much balanced. Like investing in consumer durables and uh, FMCG companies, which can go in the opposite direction during the market fall. Like they act as defensive stocks. And one more important point is that we, we should not be running behind hot themes. So suppose if you would have invested in any of these railways, defense or PSU stocks, hoping that it will give massive gains after the result, your portfolio might have seen a massive dip because these stocks fell more than Nifty. Suppose HDFC Bank on Tuesday fell almost 3-4% to and it was already trading at a discount. But SBI from the top has fallen by 15%. But again it has recovered half of the fall but uh, your portfolio when it falls by more than 15% it makes us feel more uncomfortable. I have also invested in PSU stocks but I did not add anything or create new positions during or near to the election time. So there are three important things that happened during the weekend and our discussion is related to that based on which we will discuss four companies which are very much undervalued and are very much connected to these three topics which we are going to discuss. The first point is that the European Fed Bank has reduced the interest rate to 3.75% and this is the first interest rate cut after 2019. So this is a huge news and it can positively impact the economy of the European Union which will have a ripple effect subsequently in the US and further this ripple effect will also be impacted in India. And on the Friday the market rise is because of these two reasons. RBI governor has informed that our GDP growth rate will be increasing at a faster rate and before it was estimated at 7% and now it has revised to 7.2% and many experts are predicting that the interest rate cut will also be coming in India maybe in the last three months during this year given the fact that Europe has already reduced its interest rate and somewhat the same is also expected from the US. This is one major important news and we have discussed about interest rate cut in more in detail in the previous video. And the third important point is that Bajaj housing finance company is coming with the IPO. So from this it is very much clear that the housing loan sector is going to see a massive rally in the coming years. When the interest rates are very much affordable, more people will be able to take loans from the banks to build their dream homes. And also we have a push from the government to build affordable homes for everyone. That is mostly they are targeting in the tier 2 till tier 5 cities and this is the reason that Bajaj Finance sees this as a major opportunity and have filed for an IPO and the companies we are going to discuss are related to this theme. Two companies are directly related to this theme and two more companies are related to the home decker category which will be indirectly benefited because of this rise in reality sector. These companies specifically cater to the home loan offering to tier 2 to tier 5 cities. We already know of private famous banks like HDFC, ICICI, IDFC which are lending to only salaried people and they are mainly concentrating on the tier 1 cities whereas the companies we are going to discuss are focusing rural part and semi-urban part of our country. Okay, let's start with Avas Financials. We can see that the company is down by almost 50% from the all-time high it made on Feb 22. And from this start pattern which I have already prepared, we can see three bullish indications which are actually predicting the stock will take a reversal from this point and will continue to move higher. We can see that the retracement is almost is coming to an end and the stock is trying to take a support near the 23.6 FIB retracement level. And we can see that it has taken a first support here and the second support here and a major green candle has formed here. When we combine this analysis with the RSI indicator, it becomes more clear. We can see that the bottom made here and when we check the RSI value, it is at 34. So this is a lower low which is made by the stock and we check the corresponding RSI indicator, it is 37. So we can see that the stock has made a lower low but the RSI 
has made a higher low. So this is a divergence pattern and it is a bullish indication of the stock reversal. And we can see from the MACD and in the monthly time frame there is a MACD crossover which is a very much positive signal. Combining all these three indicators, it is a very strong buy signal. I believe the stock will do a good turnaround journey from this point and we can expect the stock to at least reach up to its all-time high. And the company's NPA has been reducing over the past three years, which is also a good sign. And the stock is looking overall attractive at this point of time. Let's check the next company from the home finance business and which is the Canfin Homes, which is a subsidiary of Canara Bank. And unlike Avas Financiers, it is just down by only 15% from the all-time high and majorly in uptrend. But when we check the MACD indicator, it is showing a bearish indication in the short term. We can see from the past that the stock has been in a one-sided rally until June 2017 but after that it faced lot of volatility and after that it did not move greatly. But from the trend line it is very much clear that the stock has recovered from the previous fall and now it is slowly and gradually moving higher. And from the previous rally over the years it has just generated around 14% return in the past 7 years. When we check this scenario against screener we can find something interesting. So when we check the profit loss statement during 2017 its net profit was around 235 and today the profit has almost tripled but the stock price as we can see has just increased by only 15 percentage close to 14 percentage in the last seven years so it clearly states that the stock is very much undervalued where the profit has tripled over the years but the stock price did not move anywhere although it is not seeing a major momentum but once the interest rate decisions are taken this stock can become a rocket and it can give multifold returns do not jump straight away to invest in this stock as macd and volume indicator are showing a slight sideways trend and you can invest in this company in smaller portions and build positions systematically over the coming months okay the next two companies we are discussing are from the mdf and plywood segment the first company is green panel industries there is one more company with a similar name which is green ply industries so we can see that the company is down by almost 50 percentage from its all-time high we can see that after april 2022 the stock has been consolidating and it is in a downtrend it is very much common for a small cap company to fall by 50 percentage and it seems that the stock has taken a support and it is trying to turn around from the 38.2 fib retracement level we can see that it has taken a support once and it has also taken a support near to this level and when we check the rsi indicator correspondingly to these two lows which have formed they show the same value which indicates that there is a momentum building in the stock. We can see a possible reversal from here. But the MACD is not showing any indication in the monthly time frame. But the company is expected to do well in the coming quarters. And I'll do a separate detailed analysis of Green Panel and all the four companies that I've discussed in a separate video or I'll specifically mention in the community section. I have made my first set of investment in Green Panel Industries in the last Friday and I'll be consequently adding this company to my portfolio in the coming months. So the next company in our list is Century Plyboards. This is a slightly larger company compared to Green Panel Industries which is around 14,000 market cap and they are trying to become a competitor to Green Panel Industries which is the market leader in the MDF segment whereas this company mostly deals with the plywood segment and they realize that going forward MDF has a great business and it is a high margin product and they want to also get a share of this business. Given the good growth rate of the MDF and plywood over the coming years because of the reality sector boom and the initiatives taken by the government these companies are looking very much attractive and we can see that the stock is just down by almost 20 percentage and it is majorly in uptrend we can also verify the momentum using the rsa indicator where the value is not dropping below 30 and during this region of pullback the rsa did not fall drastically so this confirms that the stock is in uptrend for a longer duration and now that it is seeing some volatility but overall we can see that it is making higher highs and also higher lows so usually in a bull run the rsa indicator do not fall to the oversold region 
and it has already taken a support near the 50 percentage fib level and it is again testing the resistance at 78.6 fib level we can expect the stock to slowly move in the coming days so i believe it is a good time to start building some portions in the stock so these are the four companies that will be benefited because of the interest rate decision by the RBI in the coming months. Two from the home loan segment and two from the home decker segment. I'll see you soon in the next video. Actually, I'm not feeling very much comfortable shooting this video because I'm not uh, healthy right now. I have some fever. I have some headache and there are so much changes happening in our studio and I need to attach a green screen behind me so that I can continuously change the background so we do not uh, get too much bored about me talking and I am doing many more small nuances small changes and I'll be doing these things in the upcoming videos and I promise that it'll get better in the coming weeks and I'm still learning lot of things by doing YouTube and uh, please cooperate with me and encourage me and I, I hope I'll do a good job in the coming months and the coming videos i should see in the next video itself when the green screen will be ready and i ordered this almost uh, one week before still it has not reached and amazon told uh, this thing will reach lately only but we have added a new light to our uh, studio so that my face is somewhat clear i was shooting with overhead light and uh, light was uh, falling and shadow was falling on my face itself because over light headlight is not that much good right and uh, I was sweating and so much anxiety was there so that uh, I put a new AC only for this reason to start uh, shooting and take videos comfortably. So that's it. I'll do a good job in the coming videos. I'll, I, I started working on the fundamental analysis. I have almost completed the fundamental analysis of these four companies but I'm not in a position to share with you in this moment. So stay tuned. See you soon. Until then.